Who is this ghastly man? Your one and only favorite Muppet. <laughs> She's back and with Hi. a vengeance. Do the jingle. I'm back and better than ever. Do the jingle. Father Ted, Father Ted, what's going to do today, Father Ted? Your face like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was an intense jingle. All right. Anyway, welcome back, Boomerites. Hi guys. We got Queen Boomer who is. Almost Doesn't have the flu. Still got a cough, though. Just bronchitis. Just bronchitis <laughs> now. Fine. So, we got her back, <laughs> which means we're getting back into Father Ted. Now, apparently, we reacted. We skipped an episode by accident. Did you find it? Yeah. Okay. But the one that uh, we reacted to on the original video that I watched, it did say episode four. Mm -hmm. So, I guess they labeled it wrong. <gasps> And in turn, I labeled it wrong. So, we are sorry. the original source messed it up and I followed suit. So, that's what happened. But because we reacted to that last one, which is really episode five, we got to do episode six because it was, remember at the end it was said to be continued? Yes. So, we have to yes, do this one first and then we'll go back yeah. and do the actual episode four. Because this so, is kind of like a part two. Yeah. So, let's get this one out of the way and then we can do the next one. How does that sound? That sounds great. Okay. It's applying. All right. Well, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. Yeah. And uh, I'm so happy to have you back. Yeah, me too. I'm happy to not be dying in a bed. Right? Especially when you're carrying precious cargo. Yes. And yes. I'm happy she okay. Yep. And I felt her do a flip. She did do a flip. Yeah. So. A major flip. A back flip, apparently. <laughs> I think something. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Here we go, folks. Let's get into the reaction here. Previously on Father Ted. It's all your stupid game of football. There's nothing stupid about the over 75 football match. Anyway, Ted, do you think you can win this match without Father Nick? I hope so. We're using the forfeit system again this year. Wait a second. These are fake hands. By this time next week, you have to. Wait a minute. I hope so. We're using the forfeit system again this year. Wait a second. These are fake hands. By this time next week, you have to... Yes? You have to... Kick Bishop Brennan up the arse! <laughs> what an intro. I like the way they videotaped it. They <laughs> what an intro. It. Wow. Oh my gosh. Well, I did hear people say... That the next one was kicking Bishop Brennan up the arse. Kick so. him up the arse. Does anybody use the word ass over there? Ass. 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 Hey, let's go get some ass. <laughs> I don't know why I always... That's always my first... That's what you said was your pickup line. What? When you were in your youth. <laughs> that's what you said. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? The volcano god is angry! We must appease his wrath! Volcano god, what kind of nonsense is that? Look, I'll ask you one more time. Would you not give Catholicism a try? I wouldn't really catch on here. Should we don't agree with the Pope's line on artificial contraception? It's the 90s, for God's sake! <laughs> Probably. Cup of tea, Father. <laughs> Father? Cup of tea? Father, what's the matter with you? You're a million miles away. Hmm? Oh, sorry, Mrs. Doyle. Just thinking about uh, my next parish. Bishop Brennan is always threatening to send me somewhere unpleasant. And this time I think he just might go through with it. You see, I'm going to kick him up the arse. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> I don't think he'd mind that. I'd say he'd love a good, big, hard kick up the arse. Ted, Ted, you're not going to believe this. Clint Eastwood has been arrested for a crime he didn't... Oh, wait, no, it's a film. Fuck. <laughs> 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 I feel like that would be a mean <sighs> thing. You really think you're as stupid as Doodle? No, I'm... It's Come not... On now. It's gullible. It's not stupidity. Do you really have to kick him up the arse, Ted? I lost the bet, Dougal. I have to do my forfeit. 
Do you remember a few years back when Dick Byrne lost the darts tournament and he had to say bollocks very loudly in front of President Mary Robinson? <laughs> Not gonna let me away with this one. You're right, Ted. There's a code of honor involved. You could lie to him. <laughs> no, he's insisted that you take a photograph as proof. Oh, God, Dougal, what can I do? Uh, I like this parish. Do you? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, Ted, look at it this way. Bishop Brennan has only come to visit us twice in the last three years. He hates us, Ted. He thinks we're all a big bunch of Egypts. Especially you, Ted. He thinks you're the biggest Egypt of them all. <laughs> Ted Honcho, Egypt number one. <laughs> you never know, he may never come here again. That's um... Hello, Bishop Brennan. <laughs> yes. Okay. He's coming tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. Why? Well, what I gathered from that conversation is that Father Dick Byrne has told Bishop Brennan of a miraculous image that's been appearing in the skirting boards of the parochial house here. <laughs> he told Bishop Brennan... Did you hear that guy laugh? In the background? In the background. That oh, sounded man. like... Kind of sounded like a laugh I would do. Father Dick that's... Byrne has told Bishop Brennan of a miraculous image that's been appearing in the skirting boards of the parochial house here. <laughs> he told Bishop yeah. Brennan... Yeah, Actually, would... you know who it sounded like? It sounded like uh, Eclectic Beard a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> Eclectic Beard's got a great laugh. Kind of sounded like him. Grain, you can clearly <clears throat> see what appears to be a perfect likeness of Bishop Brennan. <laughs> and you found out all that just there? Yes, he's very excited about it. Images appearing on skirting boards. That's a bit wacky, isn't it? It's strange, all right. It's, it's like the Turin Shroud or that woman in Sligo. Padre Pio keeps appearing in her tea bags. <laughs> or the time I saw God's face in that painting. That was a bit strange. It wasn't that strange, Dougal. It was a painting of God. <laughs> and have you heard about the mystery of the mud angel? The mystery of the mud angel? God, it's weird. Every week in the mud outside O'Leary's pub, there's the perfect outline of a man. They call it the Mud Angel. Yep. <laughs> There's your Mud Angel. <laughs> Look at his face. Mud Angel. Look at his face when he sits down. <laughs> Mystery solved. Stand up. Visions and apparitions and all that stuff. It is a bit odd. Excuse it's you. one of those areas of Catholicism that is, uh, frankly, it's a bit mad. So the whole Catholic thing's a bit of a puzzler, isn't it, Ted? <laughs> Careful, Google. I'm a bit afraid of let. There was a lady who made a piece of toast, and like the way it burnt the toast, it looked like Jesus. Oh yeah. And a bunch of people came to see the Jesus toast. That's that should be the name of a book. Jesus toast. Or a pub in the UK. That, that sounds like a UK pub name. The lady who burnt the toast. <laughs> then though, join the club. I'm I'd not go gonna there. worry about it. The worst thing would be to keep thinking about it and becoming so anxious and obsessed that you can't sleep. I mean, that'll be just uh... <laughs> Dougal. <laughs> Dougal. Oh, what? What? God, that was weird. What happened there? <laughs> The last thing I remember is feeling very drowsy and tired, and then I can't remember anything at all after that. <laughs> yes, Dougal, it's called falling asleep. <laughs> you do it every night. I don't know why you're finding it so easy to drop off. Tomorrow, today, in fact, you're going to be taking a photograph of me kicking Bishop Brennan up the arse, and he won't like that either. Would you like to take a photograph of me? What was that face for? I don't know why you're finding it so easy to drop off. Tomorrow, today, in fact, you're going to be taking a photograph of me kicking Bishop Brennan up the arse, and he won't like that either. <laughs> Would you like someone taking a photograph of you being kicked up the arse? Put yourself in his place. Oh, my God. I wouldn't like that at all. No, I thought you wouldn't. And his PA is coming, Father Jessup, the most sarcastic priest in Ireland. Ted, when Len comes around, should... Dougal, hold it right there. Don't call Len, Len. He's a bishop. What are you not to call him? Let's get this right. Len. Very good, no. Just remember that. 
Len, 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 Len. Okay, now let's get a good night's sleep. Wait, what? It's morning. We must have talked all night. Okay, well, at least we have another few hours before the. Okay. At least I said it a bit early, so we'll have plenty of time before Bishop Brennan. <laughs> Mrs. Duggan, stall them for a few seconds. Come on, Duggan. Hello. This is the housekeeper. Uh, Your Grace, is that a hat you're wearing? It's actually called a beretta. Is it? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is that priest that, um, remember the rabbit episode? Oh. And they're trying to keep him from finding the rabbits because yeah. he doesn't like rabbits. That's him. Oh, yeah, he does not like them. <laughs> or the bishop, not the priest, yeah. Well, that's enough stalling. In you go. Uh, that's very true, Dougal. And you see the importance of the Eucharist mm -hmm. in the Mass from what St. Paul says here. Well, the way I see it, Ted... Mm -hmm. Pretending to talk about religion. Krilly! Ah. <laughs> Hello, Len. <laughs> Don't call me Len, you little prick. <laughs> I'm a bishop. All right. Well done. <laughs> you know, this type of thing, 24 hours a day, huh? All right, Krilly, I'll make this short. Mm. Show me the likeness and I'll be off. I have to be off to Rome tomorrow. But I'm Rome. The Rome. I love those programs. Have you seen the one with Elton John? <laughs> Shut up. I'm gonna do that to you. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> you look at what? Shut up! You look like an angry bullfrog. <laughs> do I? Yeah. I look like Grumio a little bit. Oh, this eye. <clears throat> What's wrong with your eye? Stop scratching it. It itches. You gotta stop scratching it. No. <laughs> what do you mean no? No. Every time you scratch your eye, it turns into like a big puff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> If you didn't know, I'm allergic to dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But she loves them so much, we can't yeah. not have them. I think we don't have cats, because we're like ten times. Yeah, so I'm allergic, allergic to them. Helping Bishop Brennan, then? No, I'm up in space, doing important work for NASA. Space, please. Now show me this thing, Krilly. It's, uh, it's very like you, Your Grace. Oh, really? No. <laughs> You're better looking, of course, though. <laughs> I, I, I don't mean that in a, an intimate way. <laughs> Nasty day, did you come by the new road? No, we went round by southern Yemen. <laughs> uh, anyway, be, before we look at the skirting board, uh, do you mind if uh, Father Maguire takes a few photographs? Go on. Do Yemen's it. not a fun place right now. I, um, I suppose, I suppose we better go. He has to kick him in the butt. <laughs> oh, now, this is a new one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before we look at it, perhaps we should say a prayer. No. But yes, he has, so because he got caught cheating in that, yeah, uh, that's his punishment. I was about to say soccer football match. Apologies. Yeah. Um, the his punishment from Father Dick Byrne is that he has to kick this bishop right up the old bum hole. Oh no. Yeah. So, I really hope it happens. No, I don't. Oh no, this is a new one. <laughs> I think if even though I. You kind of know it's coming, I would die Before laughing. Before we look at it, perhaps we should say a prayer. No, I don't want... Oh, all right then, all right. Carry on, carry on. <clears throat> oh, Lord, at this time of great joy for Bishop Brennan, when you have seen fit to put his face into the skirting board of our house, <laughs> we ask you to consider the gift of forgiveness. You, who are the most forgiving of all gods... Of all gods? What other gods are there, Quilly? Really? <laughs> uh, false gods. <laughs> oh, Lord, 
Keep blessings upon wise Bishop Brennan, the best bishop in the world by miles. For he endureth without spite. Amen. Endureth. There it is, Sir Grace. Have a look. It's, it's like out the window word. there. I do, actually. Endureth. Well... <laughs> I don't see anything, Crilly. <laughs> oh shit. What happened there? What happened? Crilly just jumped through the window. <laughs> Crilly! Crilly, are you out there? What's going on? Why did he jump through the window? An audience with Lily Savage. That was good as well. Doodle's <laughs> <laughs> coming up with some good faces this yeah, season, yes. man. That'll be just great. Ah, Crilly, why, why did you jump through the window? Jump through the window? I didn't jump through the window, did I? You did. You jumped through the window. Uh, right, it, it was because of shock. I saw your face. Did you not see it in the skirting board? No, I did. Oh, I thought you were scratching your bum. No, I was scratching my butt. Oh, okay. Did not. Did you not? Jump through the window, did I? You did. You jumped through the window. Uh, right, it, it was because of shock. I saw your face. Did you not see it in the skirting board? No, it's like I we've did. already given them enough to complain about. <laughs> I love this shirt. I made it. <laughs> did not. Did you not? I thought it smiled at me. Did you see it, Dougal? No. <laughs> God, it was extraordinary. <laughs> and, and do you not notice the sort of holy smell in the room? Holy that smell. might be just Jack's underpants hamper. <laughs> I'll put it back in his room. <laughs> Ew. Look at it. It's uncanny. That's a <laughs> you know, huge I'm surprised hamper, you're not appearing on more things, actually. You're such a top of the range bishop. Really, it is just an indistinct squiggle. Now, come on, Jessup, we're leaving. So, Crilly, where is my cloak? Your Grace, Father Crilly, I just heard on the news that they've taken the roads in. <laughs> they've taken the roads in? Yes, when the rain is bad, they store them in a warehouse on the east side of the island. What? I have to be in Rome tomorrow for an audience with the Holy Father. Rome! They repeat those shows all the time. <laughs> They'll have the roads back out by tomorrow. So essentially, we have to spend the night. Yes. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Will I make up the beds in the spare room? No. We'll sleep outside in a ditch. <laughs> Okay, so. Would you like a cup of tea? No, we'd rather die of thirst. Okay, so. Um, Mrs. Doyle, um, I think Father Jessup was being a bit uh, sarcastic. What? Why are you being sarcastic, Father Jessup? No, we want to die of thirst. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Doyle, I know it's a bit confusing, but just do the opposite of what Father Jessup says. Okay. So, you really do want a cup of tea? <clears throat> yes. Good for her. Yeah. Falling off of him. He has was, such a good part in this <laughs> show. Just when you think like you can't, uh, Father Jack, like you can't add any more detail to that guy. Yeah. Like you just, he wakes up and all the beer cans fall off of him. Aha, uh -huh, the Kraken awakes. Did we disturb you, Father Hackett? Ass biscuits! Ass biscuits? <laughs> what? How dare you speak to his grace like that? Apologize immediately! Uh oh. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Look at how bad he is. Now that's sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. Dougal, there's just no way I'm going to be able to kick Bishop Brennan up the arse. <laughs> He's just too scary. I'd rather take my chances in another parish. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my God. Ted, I might have a way you can kick Bishop Brennan up the arse and get away with it. If you did, Dougal, that would make you the most intelligent person in the world. Do you think that's likely? <laughs> no, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I'm no Geoffrey Archer. I don't care what anyone says. <clears throat> Ted. Do you know who Geoffrey Archer was? No. Neither do I. Good oh, really? Yeah. Wow. What do you mean, wow? Wow. One, I feel like you know who everyone is. I don't. You, you know. Yes, you do. Two, you said it like, do you know who that is? Because I'm going to teach you. And then you did it. I'm disappointed. If you're disappointed? Well, how about this for a response? No, no. Shut up! I thought you were going to fart. Shut up! You thought I was going to fart? Yeah. Well, I could do that too. No. Uh, I don't even think it's on. Nope. No farting. Why? Because we're adults. Why won't this scoop? <laughs> Uh, Why don't you just kick him up the arse and then act like nothing happened? <laughs> Brilliant, dude. No, Ted, seriously. Look at it this way. How scared are you of Len? Very scared. Exactly. So how likely would it be for you to kick him up the arse? <laughs> well, not likely at all. Exactly. So when you kick him up the arse, just carry on like nothing happened. He'd never believe that you'd be brave enough to kick him up the arse. He'd think he just imagined it. <laughs> My God. That... That might work. That might well work. I'm going to do it, Dougal. I'm ready as God is my witness. I will kick Bishop Brennan up the arse. Ready! Keep the knives down in there. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well. One more look. This has been a complete waste of my time. Well, things might pick up. You never know. All right, then. Let's see. Come on. Wait a minute. That's not yours. That belongs to his... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to make a prediction here. Okay. Something's going to happen where... Okay, so I do think he actually is going to get kicked up the, up arse. the arse. Yes. But... It's going to happen in a way where he's going to get launched by the kick. And his foot's going to get stuck in there. No, and then he's going to end up dying somehow. <laughs> you can see it death by kick up the arse. I think his foot's going to get stuck up there. And then, I mean, of course it's going to be like an accident, but... Yeah. That's what I think is going to happen. All right. So Not that I want that to happen, but that's... Death by kick up the arse, I think his foot's going to get stuck. <laughs> like a cartoon. Okay. Okay. We'll stick with it. Don't you look at me like that. Give that back, or there'll be trouble. Come back here! Give that... Oh. Help! No! 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 Oh, oh Jack is gonna whoop Jack. his ass. Mice or something. <laughs> Can you see anything? No, I can't! But, oh, just listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. There seems to be a very crude watercolor painting <laughs> of a man in a bishop's hat. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh! oh, shit! I heard the, the wind up. The wind up. He's like, <laughs> did he have to kick him that hard? I didn't realize he was gonna do it that hard. Give him a little. Oh my yeah. God! Watch. Oh. Hold on. Watercolor painting <laughs> of a man in a bishop's hat. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let me see. Ah, you're right. <laughs> Tell you what must have happened. <laughs> Dougal probably didn't want you to be disappointed, so he must have drawn that himself. <laughs> He's trying to play it off like you did. <laughs> yeah. That makes it even funnier, man. You didn't hear the story in the bed? Uh, I forgot it by now. <laughs> oh, no. What? You're such a man sometimes. What's that supposed to be? You just are. Huh? You just are. Okay. 
He meant well. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you'll want to be off. Catch that ferry, huh? We'll order you a taxi. <laughs> his nuts are probably in his chest. Yeah. Right so, off to see the Pope in Rome. I bet you're really looking forward to that. <laughs> well, did you see anything? Confused. No, nothing there at all, sadly. You were right. It was a wild goose chase. Uh, where's Father Jessup? Maybe he went on ahead. Okay, so, see you soon, Your Grace. Yes. Come back as soon as you can. He didn't know what the fuck to do. Gracie, all right. <laughs> I fucking can't. I think I'd be in shock it's, too, but he's also like, in pain. Oh my god, that is not the. I was like, well, if he lives, because my prediction didn't come true. If he yeah, lives, then he's gonna like do something crazy and attack yeah. both of them or something like that. <laughs> we, instead, we get this <laughs> utter shock. Yeah. You were right. He didn't notice a thing. <laughs> You gave him a really hard kick up the arse, and he didn't realize it at all. Maybe... Maybe I didn't kick him up the arse. No, Ted. I took the photograph, remember? <laughs> You're right! I did do it! <laughs> and I really went for it. <laughs> more sparkling wine. <laughs> I need more sparkling wine. <laughs> Did you pack your grace? Oh, my God. <laughs> your grace? Aw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Help! Help! Please. Oh, I forgot he's still there. Help Ew. me! Oh shit! Ew! Father Jessup, what are you doing in Father Hackett's underpants hamper? He locked me in here. Oh, dear God, the smell! Are you not terribly uncomfortable in there? Of course I'm uncomfortable. I want to get out. <laughs> yep. Yep, she has to do the opposite. <laughs> Fair enough, so. <laughs> Where are you going? Peg me! Have you finished your meal, Your Grace? Your Grace? Oh. Have you finished your meal? <laughs> no. <laughs> and this? Oh my god. This is what I did. Remember, he's also a very horny bishop who had... Remember when he... Uh, the I think it was the rabbit episode when he made the phone call and said he was coming? Yeah. And he had the naked woman in the bathtub oh, with him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> First thing in the morning, Dougal, I want 200 copies for all my friends. <laughs> and one for myself blown up. Ten by ten. Fuck off! <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Wait, that's Leonardo the Pope. Ben. He did kick me up the ass. <laughs> Get me on the first plane back to Ireland. Oh no! No, God damn it! Oh! What are you looking at, huh? I'm not supposed to say that. Using God, the Lord's name in vain. It's a mortal sin. Uh. Oh, shit. <clears throat> what do you mean, oh? Uh. I said, uh. I do remember some stuff from my, uh, Catholic upbringing. Yeah. So. That's a Christian religion, too, you're not supposed to say. I'm not supposed to say the oh. Lord's name in vain. Yeah. Spooky language. Spooky language. <laughs> Oh, he hung over. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Damn, he looked like a dinosaur. He did. Oh, my God. I know you're under the bed. 
I can see you. Bishop Brandon, hello. God Almighty, what brings you back? Come out from there now. No. <laughs> no! I will give you ten seconds, Trilly. It's just that I can see another vision of you, Your Grace. The, the, the bits of fluff seem to be arranging themselves into some sort of bishop formation. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Great to see you back. <laughs> what brings you here? What brings me here? Well, I suppose the company, huh? The fresh air. The view from my window of that great pile of sludge. But number one on the list would be the matter of you kicking me up the ass. <laughs> yes, I think that is the one I would... <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Oh, I... <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> oh. He flew all the way back oh. just to yell at him about this. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. The view from my window of that great pile of sludge, but number one on the list would be the matter of you kicking me up the ass. Yes, I think that is the one I would prioritize. Kick him. Don't try my patience, Grilly. You kick me up the ass. Try to be it, and I will have you fed to the dogs. <laughs> Why would I do that? You, you'd kill me. You're damn right I would. I would never, ever kick you up the arse. Sure, I think you're great. <laughs> well, I... Huh? Are, are you sure you're not making a, a terrible, terrible mistake? Do you, do you think that could be possible? Well, of course it's not. I, well, I mean, you know, it did occur to me that it was a bit, um, a bit unbelievable, you know? <laughs> it's unbelievable because it didn't actually happen. Mm. I swear to you, on all that I hold dear, on my life, on my religion, on God, on all the saints and angels oh, in heaven. Oh, that's bad. I did not kick you up the arse. <laughs> well, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I need a holiday. Maybe I have been sort of imagining things. You have been imagining things. Have a holiday. You deserve it. Shut up, Billy. Okie dokie. <laughs> Bye, Bishop Brennan. Bye. Look at the door. He's gonna get kicked again. You think so? Yeah. Uh, don't worry about the door. He's gonna get kicked Bye. up the Come arse again. again. Soon. Ah, Ted, I got those copies you wanted. Shut up, dude. <laughs> the one you wanted blown up. The 10 by 10. Where do you want that? What do you mean, where do I want it? <laughs> Bye, Bishop Brennan. We love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh god. god. What an episode. Well, we definitely need to see <laughs> Is the there any two. after credits in this one? That was the kick I was expecting him to yeah. father Ted to do. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> He's got a beard now. Okay. Oh, he's trying to get Mrs. Doyle to come back. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Well, he well, did, really did get kicked up the arse. He really did. Yes, now he did. Now it's your turn. Excuse me? <laughs> now it's your turn. All right, go for it. <laughs> oh, God. You need to How about it? <laughs> Had your chance. No more. Is that enough? Yeah, I just like, I like that position. You did. Yeah. I was popping that thing. <laughs> you were popping it. I was it. popping that thing. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, he got kicked up the arse. That yeah. face he made. I know. Fantastic. These father, I mean. Oh, their facial expressions are good. Ever good. since we did.
we finished watching the Inbetweeners. Father Ted has been our favorite. Yeah. Well, at least my, I can't really speak for you, but... Father Ted and Friday Night are my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, those are the only two you really react to now, though. Yeah, but I watch the ones... Sometimes Peep Show. You watch. Yeah. But, uh, fantastic episode. Yeah, I thought it was gonna hurt, uh, Bishop Brennan so bad that it killed him. Yeah. Uh, but... Jesus. <laughs> what? I'm not wishing that yeah. on him. I just... It's a wacky show. I gotta make a wacky prediction. And uh, Dougal's faces are killing me. Seems like as each season goes on, his faces are getting yeah funnier and funnier. So he's developing more. I'm gonna be sad character. when it's over. I think there's like only like a like three or four episodes left really? or something like that. Yeah, oh, I don't like that. So it's gonna be sad. Yeah. But uh, since we've watched this one, we'll now go back and watch the real episode four. Okay. And do that one for you guys when we get around to it, and we'll do that one next. So we can get back in the right order of things yeah. with it. Because, you know, it, it was the the video, re- re- the episode five, I guess it was, because that was, that was six. Last one we did was five. But on the title, it said episode four. Um, and if you go back and watch that reaction, I'll, I, put, I always put the link to the original video below, and you can check it out for yourself. It said episode four. Yeah, and we, I mean, we yeah. don't know. We, we just yeah. have to follow what it says online. Yeah. So. <clears throat> but we fell for it, so. Yeah. It's our fault, too. And, um, anyway, you guys have a lovely day, and, uh, I'm so happy you're back. Me, too. I'm happy I, love, I feel I love doing better. reactions with you. Do you? Yeah, especially, Thanks. ow! I'm sorry. You're gonna kill me? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> my death perception was so up. I tried to literally <laughs> stabbed me in the neck. I tried to go behind his neck. <laughs> you literally went. It's turning red. Is it? Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> She's abusing me. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time, Boomerites. Peace out. <laughs> Bye.